सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू कोड अरीना एंड टूडे वेर गे बी मेकिंग दिस लॉग इन पेज डिज़ाइन इन फिगमा विच इज़ द ग्लास मोरफिजम डिज़ाइन इन फिगमा सो इफ़ यू वॉन्ट मेक द डार्क मोड ऑफ इट द लिंक ऑफ द डार्क मोड वीडियो इज़ इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्टली यू हैव टू गो हियर टू फ्रेम्स एंड देन गो टू मैक बुक प्रो सिक्सटीन वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू गो विद द फिल ऑप्शन गो विद द लीनियर ऑप्शन एंड यू हैव टू पेस्ट this color code over here with 100% of opacity right just note this color code and then you have to create one more linear here and you have to paste this color code over here with 100% of opacity right not 1000 but 100 right and then go here and paste this color code over here with 100% of opacity right so we are completely done with the linear option now what you have to do is you have to make them like this we are completely done with designing the background of it right now we'll create a rectangle over here the width should be 1200 and the height should be 826 now let's keep it in center and now i'm going to make it a glass morphism rectangle with linear gradient so just go to the fill option and then go to the linear option select this first one paste this color code over here right set 50% of opacity and then make one more linear gradient here and paste the fully black color over here like keep this black over here with 30% of opacity and go to the last one and go with fully white color with 5% of opacity right just keep this over here and then what you have to do is keep these things like this right now select this rectangle and change the 100% to 40% now let's see okay so the rectangle is almost ready now select this strokes button go to the fill option in the strokes button and then go to the linear gradient option select the first one and go with fully white color with 50% of opacity and then go to the second one do the same thing go with 40% of opacity like this right and then go with two percent of thickness in the strokes and then leave it so this is looking like this i hope you get it and then go to the effects option go to the drop shadow option and right here minus 10 in both x and y we are done with it and then go to the blur option and right here 40% and then select this color code then go with 40% of opacity right so our first drop shadow is done now let's click on the plus option keep the y zero keep the x 10 keep the blur 40 and go with the same color code with 40% so this is also done select on this plus option and select over here background blur with 70% of blurness so we are completely done with the rectangle now we are going to set the corner radius to 30 so we are completely done with the rectangle now let's write the text inside it right you have to go to the text option right here login right you have to set the font size to 105 you have to set it to bold you have to select this lato font family and then select this white color with 100% of opacity so now keep it in the center now select a frame make like this set the width as 469 set the height as 82 go with the strokes option select fully white color with 4% of thickness see i guess it's looking perfect just keep it here and set the corner radius to 6 just click alt and duplicate this and then you have to put this text over here you can see all the details here you have to set the font family as lato you have to set the font weight as regular then 30 as the font size and the white color right you have to just put this here and then just duplicate this and write here password so we are done with the password and keep it in the middle and then we have these two icons this is the at the rate we, this is the text only you have to just set this font this weight this size and this will be the color and same goes with this this is also the stars and this is a little rectangle right just do it and keep it here we are completely done with it below this you have to add this remember me option basically in this remember me we have set the font family to the default font of figma which is inter and then the font weight is semi bold the font size is 18 and the fill is 
completely white with 76% of opacity right so this is the remember me option and then we're gonna make a little rectangle and place it over here done and then below this we are gonna put forgot password basically in forgot password what we have done is we have set the letter as the font family we have set the medium as the font weight we have set 24 as the font size and uh, the color is completely white with 79% of opacity right and we have a little line over here with the line section right so we are completely done with the login the input boxes the remember me and the forgot password and now we have this login button right? so basically let me explain you this is the rectangle of it and we have set the linear gradient the first one is with this color code with 100 percent of opacity and the second one is with this color code with 100 percent of opacity right and then we'll close it and see we have this letter as the font family we have semi bold as the font weight we have 39 pixels as the font size and we have completely black color right so this is the login button and below the login button we'll keep this text this half text as poppins as the font family light as the font weight 22 pixels as the font size and completely white with 100 percent of opacity right and the other half says the same things but the difference is we have set this underline over here with we can go with this underline also this line also or we can go to the settings and we can click here underline which makes it more easier right so we are completely done now the main thing to enhance the look of this page are the stickers see these are the stickers so you will get these stickers in the description you can download them well you can get the figma file of it right so we are completely done with our login page if you have any doubts any queries you can ask in the comments below and thanks for watching